standing while the dignitaries are escorted to their seats by their old bull, Moth Kenny Stale. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I now call on our shallow old bull, Moth Kenny Stale. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my privilege as old bull of Bomberi Shovel to welcome you to the second war commemoration service in Belleville. Ons is vandag hier by een om gesneeuwelders van alle oorloe waarin Suid-Afrikaners deelgeneem het te eer. Baie van hier hier teenwoordig het of in die operationele gebied of in basis een landwijk ter ondersteuning van die reactiviteit op die grens gedien. Waar u of een vriend of familielid ook al gedien het, baie dankie vir hierdie dienst, maar vooral Baie dankie vir u teenwoordigheid hier vandag om die kamerade in nagedachte te eer. Ladies and gentlemen, the address will now be delivered by Mr. Sean Booth, Deputy Director from the Department of Military Veterans. May I welcome you today to the War Memorial Commemoration and I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your schedules to be in attendance. I am honored to have been afforded the opportunity to speak to you on such an auspicious occasion. We are here today to honor and remember the sacrifices our servicemen have made for our beautiful country. The Greek philosopher Thucydides once said, and I quote, the bravest are surely those who have the clearest visions of what is before them, glory and danger alike, and yet notwithstanding go out to meet it, end quote. Last year, we commemorated the centenary of the start of the First World War in August 1914. And by the time it was over in, in 1918, over 16 million combatants and civilians were dead. This year is the 70th anniversary of the ending of the Second World War, which lasted from 1939 to 1945 and directly involved more than 100 million people from 30 countries marked by mass deaths of civilians including the Holocaust and strategic bombing of industrial and population centers resulted in an estimated 50 to 85 million fatalities. This made World War II the deadliest conflict in human history. World War II also altered the political alignment and social structure of the world power. The Soviet Union and the United States of America emerged as superpowers, thus setting the stage for the Cold War, which lasted for the next 46 years. This year is also the 49th anniversary of the start of the South African border war, a conflict that took place from 1966 to 1989, largely between the then Southwest Africa, Angola, and their ally Cuba on the one side, and South Africa and her allied forces, mainly UNITA, on the other. On the 26th of August 1966, the first major clash of this conflict took place between Swapa and the South African police. This date is generally regarded as the start of the border war, where the South African Defence Force as well as the anti-terrorism unit of the South African police were involved for the next 23 years, making this one of Africa's longest conflicts. During this period, over 250,000 SAND or SADF members served in the operational area, many of whom were national servicemen. Indeed, many of you here today have first-hand experience in this conflict and in all probability lost comrades during this time. 37 years ago today, on the 23rd of August 1978, the base at Katima Malibo was attacked by a standard bombardment using 120 millimeter rockets. One of these rockets penetrated the roof of the barracks, killing 10 South African soldiers. Trooper J. Skitter, Trooper W. Smuts, Trooper G. Erasmus, Trooper H. DeLonger, Rifleman W. H. C. Brits, Trooper A. D. Van der Marwe, Trooper K. J. Biggs, Trooper L. J. Lesh, Trooper G. Smith and Trooper D. M. Elworthy. After an intense artillery and mortar battle, two of the combat units crossed the border. 
combat team Bravo's target was a Swapo base approximately 30 kilometers from the Zambian border, but it was found deserted. The team returned to Mapacha without having accomplished its objectives. Combat Unit Alpha, on the other hand, managed to catch up to the rear guard of a number of fleeing belligerents who so cunningly enticed the unit into an ambush. In the ensuing skirmish, five of these combatants were killed and 60 fled. In a later operation, an opposition base was attacked by the ensuing South African security forces and an additional seven belligerent, com belligerent combatants were killed. Today, we are here to honor these heroes, to remember their achievements, courage and dedication, and to say thank you for the sacrifice that they have made. Today, we are amidst patriots and the families and friends of those who so nobly served. The fallen we honor here today came from all walks of life, who all shared several fundamental qualities. They all possessed courage, pride, determination, selflessness, dedication to duty, and above all, integrity. All the qualities needed to serve a cause greater than oneself. Many, if not most of these servicemen that we honor here today, did not ask to leave their homes to fight on distant battlefields. Many did not even volunteer. They did not go to war because they enjoyed fighting. They were called to be part of something much bigger than themselves. They too were ordinary South African folk who responded in extraordinary ways in extreme times. They all rose to the nation's call because they wanted to protect their country and its sovereignty. Over the years, thousands of South Africans have fought and died on battlefields here and abroad to defend our freedom and way of life. We have awarded medals to many soldiers and added their names to memorials and monuments and even honored them for their bravery. But nothing can ever replace the void that is left by a fallen serviceman and no number of medals can comfort those left behind. Our gathering here today is just one small spark in the flame of pride that burns in everyone here. It is not a lot, but it is one small way we can honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice so that we can live in freedom. In concluding, from the servicemen who shivered and starved throughout the winter, crouched in the muddy trenches in France, to the platoons who patrolled the border of our beautiful South Africa, we remember them all. Your presence here today is a tribute to those fallen servicemen and their families. It is also a way we can say in the words of the English poet Lawrence Binion, whose fourth verse of his poem has been claimed as a tribute to all casualties of war. With proud thanksgiving, they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. I thank you. The scripture reading and prayer will now be conducted by Moss Peter Bolton. The reading today is from chapter 2 of the book of Isaiah. For the law will go forth from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will render decisions for many people. They will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations will not lift up sword against nation and never again will they learn war. Would you all stand please and let us pray. O oh, gracious and wonderful God, thank you for giving us this land of hope and opportunities. You promised that war will end and that people would never have to learn those things again. However, we are here today to remember those of our community who gave everything that we may continue to live here. It is only by remembering them that we can hope to continue their work towards our common goals of peace and of freedom. We remember those who continue to work for the causes of justice and freedom. 
and we remember those who came back and are who were injured or maimed. Let us never forget their sacrifice and grant that the people of our great land may have the grace to live in the spirit of justice, of generosity and of peace. You are an omnipotent God and we ask that you guide our leaders in the path towards peace in our land. And we ask this in your holy name. Amen. Please remain standing for the sounding of the last post, followed by two minute silence and the sounding of Reveille. All in uniform salute during the sounding of the last post. All right, attention! Standard party, now standard. Walk, salute! ceremony will now commence. Will those laying the wreaths please step, for step forward when your name is called. Wreaths will be laid on behalf of the following units, associations and organizations as per protocol, while Piper James will play the lament. On behalf of the Department of Military Veterans, Mr. Sean Booth. On behalf of the Mothbom Ali Shalom, Old Bull Moth Kenny Stale. On behalf of Next of Kin, Mrs. Hileta Westhazen. the City of Cape Town, Belleville Sub-Council, Councillor Sam Pinar. African National Military Veterans Association, Colonel Colin Doyle. On behalf of 
now for the Council of Military Veterans Organizations, Mark Edward Sykes. of the Apple Veterans Association, Mr. Kwedi Makalipi. South African Legion, Legionnaire Colin Kalmeyer. They are for the memorable order of Tin Hat. Mark Brian Porter, NEC member, Western Cape. On behalf of the Moth Admiral Halifax Shallow, Moth John Fister. For the Moth Global Cooker Shallow, Moth Dion van der Berg. On behalf of the Moth Kamishu Shallow, Moth Leon van der Pfeiffer. Marshal Smut Shallow, Moss Rob Harding. On behalf of the Moss, Tommy Rendell, V.C. Shallow, Mark Buddy Bacon. Thank you, pardon. On behalf of CSANDF Defense Reserves, Captain, Captain Marcus Ramatlua. of OC Regiment Regiment Westelijke Provincie, Lieutenant Colonel Anton Domini. Battalion, 
on behalf of the Defence Provincial Liaison Council, Advocate Anthea Michaels. On behalf of the Gunners Association, Gunner Tony Betka. On behalf of the Moth Women's Auxiliary, Mothwa, Mothwa Gloria Thomas. On behalf of 32 Battalion Veterans Association, Moth Pat Tate. On behalf of 31 201 Battalion Veterans Association, Moth Dion van der Berg. On behalf of 101 Battalion Veterans Association, Moth Anton Rue, HCS. On behalf of the Warrant Officers Association, Warrant Officer G. Ritchie. On behalf of the Kufut Veterans League, Mr. Herman Klaassens. On behalf of the Red Cross Children's Memorial Hospital, War Memorial Hospital, Mrs. Pauline Solomons. All units, organizations, or associations who have not been called, please come forward to lay your wreaths or floral tribute, and as well as members of the pu public who would like to pay their respects are now invited to come forward.
please stand for the reading of the Moth Credo and Prayer. Was om alle opal Moth Kenny Stone. Moth In the spirit of true comradeship and in sound memory, we remember our comrades who did not return, those that have served the sunset and answered the sunset call, and those who have paid the supreme sacrifice in all of our wars. Mof, salute! In memory, in honor, in silence do we pause, our humble tribute to those who died for freedom's cause. By their sacrifice in passing, when comrades went to rest, most vow they will be remembered of the kind, the best. We vow they shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. I shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Drop, salute! Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. Well, gentlemen, please remove headgear. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the memorable Order of Tin Hats and Cape Town City Council Ward 6, thank you for your attendance at this war commemoration service. This is an annual event and we hope in future years to contact more of the families and comrades of those soldiers, sailors, airmen, medics and police members whose names are engraved on the various memorial stones and plaques in the northern suburb. Thank you for your attendance in honoring the fallen. We hope to see you again next year.